today on Mama Peace Kitchen, we'll be making Nigeria meat pie. Here are the ingredients. For one kilogram of flour, you will be needing a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. This is one quarter, a quarter of uh, this thing you will use for the measurement. Then you will also be needing half teaspoon of nutmeg. You can use this, you can use your tablespoon if you don't have this. You will be ne also be needing 500 grams of baking butter. Salt is optional. Some people put salt. I like to add a little pinch of salt, like a quarter teaspoon. So it all depends on the number uh, amount of flour that you will be using. If you are using a uh, two kilograms of flour, you have to increase your ingredient. So I have my grounded beef here. This is sliced beef. So I like to make my meat pie very rich. Two carrots, two potato, nutmeg. Uh, you have your baking powder here, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Then I have my sugar here, one teaspoon of sugar. I know this is my butter, 500 grams of butter for a kilogram of flour. That's my salt, baking powder, sugar, my nutmeg. Then I stir first. Tear it all together. Make sure you wash your hands. Sanitize your hands very well. Then I'm going to add my butter. So you miss, you make sure you don't overbeat your dough. Then this is our one uh, one cup of water. I'm using this measurement. I'm going to be using half. So you don't need to use the whole water. What you need to do is after mixing this now. You add your water gradually. It's a warm water. Don't use cold water. I will carry you along as we are doing it. So after mixing it with butter, this is how this, your dough is going to look like. Then I'm going to add half cup of water to it now. Okay. So this is my dough now. I've just finished mixing it. I'm going to wrap it up now. Then I put it in the fridge for one hour. After one hour, then we start uh, cutting it. So I'm going to wrap it now and put it in the fridge, like I said before. This is it. It's going to be in my refrigerator for one hour. So I, I have a teaspoon of granola oil. I'm going to add my grounded beef together with my chopped meat. I'm eating it at home, so I'm going to mix everything all together. So you look at it now. This is the raw grounded beef. You can see the difference now. I fry it for some minutes. So I'm going to add my potato, my carrot as well. I have my thyme. You just season it to your taste. I have other seasoning, so I'm going to put them. So I'm going to stir it now. Then I add half cup of water. Allow it to cook for a while. I'm still going to use my measurement cup. So half cup of water. Then I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for a while. I'm stirring it again now. It has boiled for some minutes. I'm still going to let it boil because I tasted it. It's still not cooked yet. Then uh, I didn't add onions. Onions is optional. Some people add onions. I don't like onions in my meat pie. I don't also add curry, but just season it to your taste. Yeah. So I have two spoons of uh, flour here. I mix it in half cup of water. I'm going to add it to it. If you don't want to mix yours like this, you can just sprinkle your flour on the sauce. It's just to thicken the beef sauce. That's it. You just thinking it now. Then I'm going to switch off the stove, put my sauce aside to cool off and simmer. Then while I turn to my dough that I put in the fridge earlier on. In one hour now, I just brought it out from the refrigerator. I cut some. I'm going to roll it this way, then after rolling. So there are other ways you can do your meat pie. If you don't have a meat pie molder, or you call it pastry dough, 
uh, door designer or so, whatever the name they, you like to call it. So I'm going to cut this and put it here. Before I use this, I have to show you other ways if you don't have uh, your meat pie mode. So you can use this your plate or your pot cover if you don't have a meat pie molder. I just use my pizza cutter now to cut it off this way. You get it like this. Add your So you just use your fake. You do it this way. If you don't have a meat pie molder. This is how that's I just rub it, scrub it with a little butter. I put it there. Just spread this dough now. So you put it on the meat pie molder. Put it this way. Add some of your don't put too much. Don't forget to rub it. Egg. Don't put some of egg with your brush here. I'm still going to add egg after I do this. That will be later. So you close it all together this way. So you press it down. Don't forget. Try and close it all together. Exactly two fourths. Then I just remove the remaining dough. I put it aside. Then I open it up. That's a. This is it. So I also have other smaller molder. It all depends on how you want to do the size. If you want the jack size of it or the smaller size, most Asian people use this smaller size just for their samosa and all that stuff. So I'm going to use both. Whatever sizes you want to shape your dough, so you can just do it. So oh, this is our meat pie. This is it. You can see both sides. So I use different uh, shapes and sizes to make it. Whatever shape or sizes you so wish, you can just do it. You can do it this size or give it to your kids like this. You just put it in Ziploc bag and throw it in your mouth. Or if you are someone, a workaholic, very busy, you don't have time. So you can just do it these shapes. It doesn't mean you can use this bigger size. It's not permanent. So change, they say, is the only thing that is permanent. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Mama P Kitchen and our Gmail at Mama P African Kitchen at gmail.com. And don't forget to hit that notification bo button so subsequent videos can come into your email. Thank you.